It's the middle of the afternoon and I'm out trying to do landscape photography. What's going on? Good afternoon. It's the middle of the afternoon and I'm out trying to do landscape photography. What's going on? Quarter to four. And just to give a reference point, sunset today is at around 8.30. So well out of anything even approaching golden hour. But nevertheless, I'm out today to try and do some landscape photography. And the reason I'm doing that is because right now we are heading into what I find the most difficult time to do landscape photography. And that's late spring, summer and early autumn. The reason I find it so difficult is because sunset here gets quite late. I mean, as I said, it's half past eight now. In another couple of weeks, it'll be nine o'clock. And by the time we get into middle of June, it'll be 9.30, 9.45. So if I'm gonna do a sunset shoot, and I'm gonna hang around for 30 minutes after sunset, that's gonna be you know middle of June, 9.45, 10.15, and then let's say I'm reasonably close to home, but I've still got an hour, you know, half an hour's hiking, half an hour's driving, whatever it may be. It makes for some late nights. Add to that the fact that this is a tourist area, so some places actually are quite busy. There's people about, even you know that late in the evening, um, and it makes landscape photography in the evenings quite tricky. Sunrises are okay. Dawn shoots. Uh, the sunrise never gets massively early here. Sort of six fifteen, six thirty is about as early as it gets. But nevertheless. For sunrise shoots, I'm pretty much restricted to places where I've been and scouted and I've, I've sort of pre-visualized my composition so I can just go and set up and shoot. It takes away the possibility of that spontaneous just going for a hike and uh, finding a location and shooting it. So I, I kind of feel like I'm missing out a little bit. So I'm looking for opportunities to shoot earlier in the day, so not waiting until the golden hour or near to sunset, but middle of the afternoon, like it is right now. So one of the big challenges with shooting in the middle of the day is if you look at a landscape, when we've got mostly clear skies and the sun quite high up, is that landscape doesn't look that impressive. I mean, the view from here is actually gorgeous, but the light on the land here is really not appealing. Even if we're looking at these beautiful mountain ridges and peaks here, the light on them is not that great. The problem is that because the sun's up high, the light across the scene is pretty uniform. And because it's pretty uniform, it doesn't show up any textures, it doesn't show up the contours, and just generally speaking, it's just not very appealing at all.
So what I'm going to be looking for this afternoon is small parts of the landscape, discrete details, and in places where either the direction of the light doesn't matter or where it's working to my advantage. I'm probably going to head into some shady areas and look for scenes where the light is breaking through that shade. And I'm also going to look for scenes where because the light is coming from quite high, it's putting shadows underneath things and the combination of the thing and its shadow might work as a composition. Okay, so I found something that I think is worth a try. I've got this tree here, which is sort of quite old and gnarled, and it's got a, a curve to it. Um, and there's quite a lot of sort of dead and dry stuff in there. But then hanging down here is this sort of new growth with the new pine needles and sort of some orange, um, I guess they're uh, the beginnings of pine cones, I guess. Um, and what, what's appealing to me here is the, I guess, the difference between the, the new growth, the new, and what looks quite old and ancient and, and almost dead. Um, there's some quite nice mottled light on the, uh, the tree itself and on the, the foreground here with the grass, which looks quite nice. I've gone for a uh, portrait orientation and uh, I've fitted a circular polarizer what I've done is increase the ISO up to 160 um, just to give, keep the shutter speed up a little bit because the wind keeps gusting um, and I, I want to have these pine needles and pine cones sharp so it's a case of waiting now until we get a calm patch so it's not moving um, and then taking the shot and of course as soon as you say that the wind just keeps on blowing I'm using a two second timer Thought the wind was going to stop then. Sometimes it's just a waiting game. Okay, I'm going to try ISO 400, really just to get that shutter speed up a little bit. That should allow me about 1 80th of a second. Okay, I've been standing here for about 10 minutes now, just waiting for the wind to drop. And I'm hoping at any second. I think we might just have got it. Yeah. I think we got it. Is it going to be a great shot? Probably not, but it might be nice. And as I said, it's something a bit different. So I've got this one. I'm going to have a little explore around this area, see if there's anything else and then move on.
Okay, so uh, I found an interesting composition here. Uh, I must have walked these trails, uh, God knows how many times. Um, but I found one today that I've never spotted before, just a side trail off. And I followed it up and I found this fantastic little scene here. Uh, there's these, this sort of baked, uh, sort of, I don't know, clay sand or whatever it is, um, with these tufts of grass. And then this tree, or what's left of a tree, which has got this beautiful spiral texture. And then this sort of weird branch sticking out the top. And then we've got the backdrop of the mountains. Uh, it's, the, the light is actually really harsh, but you know what? I think it kind of suits the scene. Um, so I've, I've set up a shot now. I've got one of the tufts of grass uh, over in the bottom left-hand side of the frame. Um, and then I've got the shadow of the tree coming in from the right-hand corner. And I've got the tree smack in the middle. Um, and then in the background, we've got mountains and clouds and sky. Um, I've put a three-stop hard-edged ND grad in because the sky is really bright. Uh, I'm shooting ISO 64, F11 and 1 60th of a second. I actually think that looks quite nice. It's got kind of a harsh, almost sort of baked on look. I quite like that. I quite like that. So I've moved around just to the other side of the tree a bit. And what I've got is the shadow of the tree coming in from the bottom right hand corner of the frame coming up and then the tree is basically occupying the top left hand third intersection of the frame again harsh light but i think it kind of suits the scene this time it's a portrait orientation um, and i've gone to probably about 30 millimeters and I'm shooting uh, F16, just to try and make sure I've got everything sharp. That's 1 50th of a second. Yeah, I quite like that. And so one of those occasions when I think the harsh light actually really suits the subject. Okay, so that's it. I've got to head back now. I've got uh, other commitments for later this afternoon and this evening. Nevertheless, I've done quite a bit of exploring today, in and out of the woodland. Found one completely new trail that I must have walked past dozens of times and never seen. Uh, and I've got, hopefully, a couple of different and interesting images as we move through spring and into summer. Um, I'll still be doing the occasional sunset shot and I'll definitely be doing some dawn shoots. In fact, I'm pretty sure my next shoot will be a dawn shoot, but you'll have to tune in to the next video to see. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Comments below, much appreciated. Likes and shares are also very much appreciated and actually really, really helpful in terms of promoting the channel. So if you fancy giving me a like and a thumbs up, if you fancy sharing this video, that would be great as well. If you're a subscriber to the channel, thank you very much. And if you're not, why not? <laughs> Just click the subscribe link. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to do anything other than click subscribe. So as I'm heading back to the car now, getting out of breath and trying to walk and talk at the same time. I am going to say thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, bye.